Hello, I'm Alan Furstenberg. And I'm Mark Tucker, and we are Two Voice Devs. Two Voice Devs. Welcome to the anniversary show. It's been one year. We just celebrated our 50th episode, and now it's like right on the hills, uh, celebrating one year of doing the Two Voice Devs podcast. Yep. And, and first of all, we want to thank all of you for watching and listening to, to us and talking with us afterwards. We get a lot of feedback how much you enjoy the show, and we're really, really grateful for all of that. Yep, and we're thankful for all of our voice friends. In fact, we've got some uh, clips, some congratulations from our friends and colleagues uh, for this one year anniversary, and we appreciate that so much. Thank you. Hey, Alan. Hey, Mark. It's Terry Fisher here. Congrats, you guys, on the one year anniversary of the Two Voice Debs podcast. Couldn't be happier for you guys. You are two of my absolute favorite developers in the entire voice space. So, hey, good work, guys. I'm sure you've got lots more podcasts in you and look forward to hearing more. Keep it going, guys. Hey, guys, this is Julie Daniel Davis from the Voice and Education podcast. I hear that congratulations are in order to Mark and Alan for a full year of the Two Voice Devs podcast. Great job, guys. You're not only very professional in what you do, but you're very knowledgeable and approachable. Kudos to you and keep up the good work. Alan, Mark, congratulations on a year of two voice devs. Not only have you had some amazing conversations over that year, um, Mark, you've also inspired me with your hats. So, congratulations, guys. Congratulations. Take care. So one of the things I think we wanted to do, Mark, when, when talking about this was kind of look back on the past year. Yep. You know, we, we've got uh, 51 episodes uh, under our belt at this point. And, you know, kind of thinking back on some of the things that we did talk about and, you know, where are they now? What's, you know, what's changed with the Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa and Bixby and others right. in the past year? And, you know, kind of uh, see where things have gone. Yep, like right out of the gate, our first episode, we talked about uh, quick links and action links. Uh, that's a way for a uh, URL to uh, turn into a voice experience on your device. And uh, just there was a lot of initial excitement about that. I was able to incorporate that quickly into uh, some of the projects that I was working on. Um, and so I don't know, what's, what's your impression of uh, quick links and action links over the last year? I haven't heard much about them recently. I mean, in November, on the Google side, we heard that action links were renamed to assistant links. Right. But that was about it. I mean, no, there, was, there was no change to them themselves and they still have a major bug in them. So not much has changed about action links in the past year or assistant links in the past year. Yeah, and I've, um, like initially I was able to, um, like post on, on social media and Facebook, either URLs or on websites or um, embed as part of a QR code, um, different ways, you know, experimenting in different ways to get to quick links. And I haven't seen uh, lots of other uh, skills do that yet. I, I haven't necessarily been on a web page and it says, hey, click on here to start a voice experience. So um, I guess I was expecting a little bit more implementation and experimentation. Yeah, you know, and, and in some ways it's disappointing. I do think it's really one of the, I, I still think there are features that have so much potential and there's so much that can be done with them, but nobody is, you know, we're, we're not really exploring that. And I know on the, on the Google side, the reason why I haven't explored it much is because of the bugs that are associated with it. Um, yeah. You know, when, when we released our action, I was toying with the idea of uh, publishing a link for, you know, each episode but it wasn't going to work on a bunch of platforms, so why bother? Yeah, well, that's, so we'll have to keep our eyes on this next year and see what's going on with uh, quick links and assistant links. Yeah, hopefully, I'm, I'm still hopeful, but I am too. Hi, Mark and Ellen, it's Maaike here. Van harte gefeliciteerd met het eenjarig bestaan van jullie podcast Two Voice Devs. Congratulations on the first year anniversary of Two Voice Devs. Bye. Happy anniversary, Mark and Alan. Uh, you guys are my two favorite voice devs, uh, and I just really appreciate everything you do for the community. Uh, you're both awesome developers. You're both really expert, and I would say more than anything else, you're both just amazingly generous. 
uh, with your the time and the help and assistance you give to others. Uh, I really appreciate that so much. Um, and I think everybody else does too. So congratulations, and I look forward to the upcoming year. Huge congratulations to Alan and Mark for one year anniversary of Two Voice Devs. Thank you for everything you have shared, all the knowledge. You are a real treasure of the community. Thank you, take care, and congrats. So, you know, one of the things we did way back at our 10th episode, we wanted to celebrate our 10th episode. And I, you know, that almost seems funny to me now that, you know, it was just <laughs> 10 episodes and, and we were already celebrating. But we kind of took the opportunity to look at a bunch of features that we really, really either wanted or needed um, to, to help our development or to improve the skills and actions and so forth. And I kind of pulled up that list and um, not many of them, not, you know, the, the list hasn't changed all that much. <laughs> so this is um, our top 10 list that we did October of last year. Yep. Um, and so like how many of those uh, uh, got implemented? Well, I mean, looking through the list itself, there were, you know, we had some, some interesting things that we really wanted. You know, we were talking, for example, about how we needed monetization improvements. Right. We still need monetization improvements. <laughs> you know, that hasn't changed. Um, we've wanted to do things like being able to turn on and off intents for Alexa. And I see, you know, so that was being yep. able to handle certain intents in certain states. Um, we wanted better account linking on the Google side so that it could handle Google scopes for various reasons. On the Alexa side, we wanted an improved audio player. And on the Google side, we wanted the audio player to work even better. Still um, do. Still do. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, none of that really has changed all that much. The, the only thing on this list, I think, that actually has changed significantly is how Google handles time. And that was a, a major change just a few months ago um, that we now get time zones. Finally. And relative times give accurate relative times and, and a whole bunch of other improvements finally came through. So you can now wish people good morning. I, that was, you know, just yeah. the fact that it took us so long <laughs> to get that is ridiculous. But I am glad we finally got it. Yeah, no, um, recently at the <clears throat> a Google event, they talked about additional monetization with like credit card numbers and, and uh CVV numbers, yeah. right? Um, so uh, have you heard anything since that announcement? Nope, nothing since. Not yet, okay. Not yet, you know, but, uh, you know, it was only, you know, I was only a month or so ago. So uh, you know, these things take time. Yeah, time moves kind of slowly, I guess, when you're a developer and you want everything. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, there, were, there was a lot of stuff announced at IO that's all coming soon, as we talked about in our episode, Promises, Promises. <laughs> One year of two voice devs. Wow. Pretty legit. Thanks for doing what you do. We're all very grateful to have you as part of this community and you teach us a whole lot. So keep on doing your thing and we'll see you at the second anniversary party. Ciao. Something I wanted to uh, bring up was just talking about uh, Alexa presentation language. Um, so APL, um, about a year ago when we started was at version 1.4. Um, so there's been two official releases, 1.5 and 1.6. And then it was just uh, uh, kind of discovered today that the devices have been updated to 1.7. And hopefully Ooh. we'll get some additional information about what that might mean at the upcoming Alexa Live event. Ooh, yeah. And, and this might be a good time to mention that uh, next week, we will have a discussion. You know, this show will be airing right after Alexa Live. So next week, we will have our coverage of Alexa Live. Right. So, yeah, give us a week to, to gather our thoughts and go ahead and do the, the episode that's uh, dedicated to Alexa Live. Hey, hey, Mark. Hey, Alan. Uh, I am the Kenai Peninsula in Maui and wanted to say congratulations on a year of your podcast. It is an absolute must listen. Take it easy, guys. 
Hello, it's Alana here, and I just want to say a big happy first birthday to two voice devs, Mark and Alan. Congratulations, and thank you for all you do in the community. We've talked about APL a bunch of times. Right. Um, and even in the past year, one of the things that we had talked about early on was how Alexa didn't have the same audio SSML capabilities that Google had. Right. And it still doesn't, but it's released all of them through APLA. Yeah, so uh, there has been some addition changes to APLA, including the ability to repeat audio. Um, you weren't able to do loops on, on audio tracks through APLA until um, I think it was the 1.5 release. Um, and uh, you can set duration. There's been some changes with uh, uh, importing SVG files um, into APL into what they term um, AVG. Uh, Alexa Vector Graphics. Um, and if you've done work with Lottie files for animations, you can import Lottie files into um, AVG as well. Um, and then there's just been some updates to responsive templates and components. Um, and we'll see what's going to happen with uh, what's coming out with 1.7, um, as, hopefully as soon as that, that gets announced. But I've just had a lot more experience um, just recently with, with APL and that conversion over from uh, uh, display templates to APL that was required. And, and I'm glad that I got a little bit of a, an extension. Um, that's like actually, in, that, that's instead actually of the good, end of, yeah, go ahead. That's actually a good point that, uh, you know, in last week's episode, we talked that it was going to be the end of July. And right. since then, we've learned that it's been extended even further. So why don't you yep. talk about that? Just uh, to the end of August. So you get an extra month. So um, there, and there's some additional things that you can do there. I think they're making it, trying to make it easier if you were doing display templates um, that you could go ahead and uh, easily convert that or reuse um, some of that into uh, uh, APL. And also if you go to the APL.ninja uh, site, there is a tool there that will help you convert display templates to um, APL. And uh, also just mentioning when we started uh, this a year ago, then uh, APL Ninja was uh, wasn't out there. It wasn't officially on on Twitter until January of this year. So uh, a shout out um, to to APL Ninja and everybody that's contributing to that. Has it been a whole year? Happy anniversary. Mark and Alan, you two are usually some of the smartest people in the room, but most importantly, you are also the kindest, most welcoming, and the most willing to share what you've learned with others. So congratulations on this milestone. You two are the best. Hi, Mark and Alan. Tom Hewittson, the creator of Voice Arcade here. Just dropping by to say congratulations on an entire year of two voice devs. It's been an invaluable resource for the community and I've enjoyed listening along. Looking forward to another year of amazing episodes. Keep up the good work. Hey, Mark and Alan from me and the rest of the Data Lab team. We just wanted to thank you guys for all that you do for the voice development community and the information that you share every single week on Two Voice Devs. It's um, really helpful, really good stuff. Uh, it's, I know, um, a commitment that you guys have to uh, get together every single week and you're taking that time out of your uh, your busy days, but we sure do appreciate it and wanted to congratulate you and thank you for 52 weeks so far, one year, and we hope that there are many, many more years to come. Thanks so much, you guys. Really do appreciate it. You know, talking about graphics, you know, on the Google side, we've got the interactive canvas and we've seen a couple of improvements since then. And as always, a couple more promised. But kind of looking back over it, we, we talked a lot about Interactive Canvas and the web API for games. Did I get it right this time? You did. I think you I actually did. got it right the very first time. I think that might be the first time that I've gotten it right <laughs> the entire podcast so far. So, um, so you know, we're, we're seeing some improvements on that coming on the Google side. But it's, it's interesting to me in reviewing the list of what we've talked about. We've talked a lot about games on... Uh, on these platforms. And, and in that time, you have released one game and shuttered one of your other games. <laughs> and in the process of converting uh, a third game from uh, old technology to, to more current technology. Yeah, so it's been... <laughs> it's, yeah. It's an interesting year when you think about, you know, what's, what, what have we worked on in the past year and what have we launched? Um, aside from 
you know, an action of the podcast itself. What else, you know, the things that we've done and the things that we've played with. Yeah. So, um, you know, I've, I've had a job change. And so, you know, before I, we, uh, when we first started uh, Two Voice Devs, then I was working at a company called Soar and they they have a, a a, an Alexa skill in Google Action called Soar Audio, where you can uh, listen to audio content and upload your own uh, personal content and do playlists and and things and and um, I invite you to go check that out. And there's been some other things that I can't really talk about from from working at Rain, but there's a, a, a big game that got released on uh, Google Actions um, recently for that that uh, was really exciting and. Uh, and I'm doing some some work uh, uh, in the area of healthcare. So just really excited about different things that are progressing in those those areas. Has it really been a year since the Two Voice Devs podcast launched? You guys are amazing. Alan and Mark, thanks for your generous spirit, sharing your knowledge and insight in a new industry. All we need now is standards and we'll be all set. Keep doing what you're doing. I can't believe it's already been a year for two voice devs, the best resource out there for voice development, pulling from two different directions. Alan and Mark give you the best content on developing voice applications that is out there. Happy birthday to voice devs. And I hope to see many, many more episodes in the years to come. Hey, what a year. I remember talking with Alan kind of a year ago about starting a podcast. And now, two legends, two voice legends, Alan Furstenberg and Mark Tucker will be celebrating the first year of two voice devs podcasts. And what I have to admit, I'm super proud of them because even me, no coding guy, listens to the Two Voice Devs podcast with a pleasure, because everyone can find something interesting there. Good luck, guys, and may the voice be with you. And thinking about the past year also, it's been our professional development. It's been our, you know, the relationships we've had with a lot of other people as well. All, you know, including the ones that you've seen and you'll be seeing uh, who have wished us well, and so many more. So uh, again, we want to thank all of you for for giving us your feedback. We're always looking forward to what you have to say about the episodes and what you want to hear us talk about some more. Yeah. And, and thank you. Uh, we just love the voice community and the, the friendliness of it and, and excited about, uh, you know, celebrating things that you do and, uh, and just learning from you. So it's just been a great opportunity to, to learn and make friends. And we appreciate this chance to talk about voice tech and, approach it from a developer perspective. And uh, so just wish you luck in your projects and wish you well in all that you do. You know, we'd love to hear what you're talking about and how you're doing it. So, um, and we are, of course, always welcoming guest hosts. We've had three guest hosts so far. And, you know, if you're interested in being a guest host, reach out to us to talk about the stuff that you're working on as a developer. So again, thank you, everyone. And we hope you'll join us for another year of Two Voice Devs. Two Voice Devs. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you, Mark. Take care, everybody. Take care.